When we see children with cerebral palsy, it's crucial for them to have therapy to help them achieve their developmental milestones. What's difficult with small children is that therapy is often boring or tedious. The technology here allows them to participate in the high repetition practice that they need, but in a fun and motivating way. They see it as a, a game really most of the time so we're able to distract them so that they're then able to carry on with their rehab so they're completing rehab without thinking they're completing rehab so they engage really well with it. I believe physiotherapy is about repetition. A base is balance and his core has come on. Never seen it like that before. Yeah. He's found the independence of walking the technology here has brought that on. It has to be the technology because I don't think there's anything else that we've not tried. The rehabilitation with the robotics and VR is an integral part of the rehabilitation programme that the patients undertake here. During their therapy, they'll have one hour a day of hands-on traditional rehabilitation techniques and the other remaining three hours a day is using the technology supported by our clinicians to do the high repetitions that they need. And their movements are evaluated and we modify the programme bespoke to each patient to make sure that they're achieving what is specific for them. I feel like since he started coming here because he's come on so much I think he'll be a lot more independent. I mean this week he's just started to partially dress himself which he's never been able to do before. I just did this by myself. You did didn't you? Within six weeks coming to the clinic they got Avace back onto his feet and back into his walker. That was something Avace had not done since he was eight or nine years old, remember he's now 17. When we see adults with cerebral palsy, quite frequently they have maybe achieved independence with therapy earlier on in their lives, but by moving with slightly altered movement patterns, life is a little bit more effortful, movements aren't quite so efficient, and you often see a decline in their function in their late 20s and into their 30s. That's where the intensive rehab programme at Motion Rehab can be really helpful. Having that assessment and treatment, again, a burst of physiotherapy or a burst of some of the, the gaming robotics equipment helps with their movement patterns massively. So for example, with walking or with functional tasks with their arms, so looking at feeding, looking at drinking. The best thing for me is actually seeing that this vision works. The more we see our patients succeed, the more satisfying our jobs are. It might be the smallest of things, they suddenly can stand up for the first time, they can open their fingers for the first time, but when that leads into being able to eat and drink on their own, be able to go back to their own home, to manage to go to the toilet by themselves, those are huge wins from tiny little steps of rehab to get them there. I see a big massive shout out. A big massive shout out. Uh, the power of the, 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 the. Sarah's created this motion rehab. Uh, right. Day one. Yeah. How about she created fantastic, amazing. She is. I think, I mean, the physios that work here are absolutely amazing. They're brilliant, um, they're very welcoming, they really look after you.